Hello everyone, it's Miss Elizondo, and this video is to help you update your science notebook for week 3.1. Wow, we're in the third six weeks, the first week of the third six weeks, so we call that 3.1 or reporting period three, week one. So let me show you my science notebook. Okay, let me show you my science notebook. Here is my fourth period science notebook. Okay, so when I open it, I should have my syllabus for reporting period three, week one, and this is for your science class. Okay, so on Monday, we did not take that pre-assessment test, okay, but we did go over the Earth's layers, okay? So I will show you that what Monday looks like. So Monday says pre-assessment, but if you were logged in with me, we did not do that pre-assessment. We did talk about the Earth's layer. So this is what the first page looks like for Monday, okay? We're starting to learn about the Earth, okay? The science about the Earth. We did one blue circle. That would be the surface or the crust. And then we did the brown circle touching the blue one, that would be the crust, okay? Then we did a red one here, and in between the crust and the core is your mantle, okay? If you go deeper into the earth, you're in the outer core. And of course, the right center circle here is the inner core. So we're gonna be learning about the earth, and we're gonna start with the surface of the earth, okay? So if I go back to my syllabus, Tuesday is all about vocabulary. So here are my vocabulary words. We just got to be careful because it has one word typed out twice. Okay, so you actually have about nine words. So these words need to be looked up and sketched so you have an idea of what they are. So this was Tuesday. Okay, so I'm going to turn the page of my notebook. And here I have properties of soil because that's what i'm learning this week according to my syllabus okay so as a fifth grader i have to examine soils for the color the texture does it keep water or does it let it go and can i plant some watermelon seeds in it and see my watermelons grow okay so does it support plant life so the first thing you got to know is what type of soils do you have well you can have sand Okay, sand is a soil. They're just tiny pieces of broken rocks. They're rough and of course sand doesn't keep water very well. So I'm not gonna plant my watermelon seeds in sand. Okay, I can plant a cactus, that'll be good. The next type of soil is clay. Now clay is soil with very small sticky particles and holds a lot of water. So if I wanna plant my watermelon seeds in clay, hmm, I'm, they might drown because clay holds a lot of water and I don't want that, okay? So let's go to the next soil, gravel. Ooh, gravel are just little tiny pebbles, little piedritas, little, little rocks. So it's a soil made of large sized particles and pebbles. Now would I plant my watermelon seeds in gravel? Mm, not really. I've seen driveways with gravel, but I haven't seen watermelon seeds grow through gravel. Okay, so that's not a soil I wouldn't pick. Let's go to the next one. Potting soil can also be called loam, okay? Loam is the best soil you can use because it's rich in nutrients. You could also put it in your pot. You can also call humus soil rich in nutrients, but humus actually has dead plants and animals in it, and it's very natural on the earth. Potting soil, you could probably buy at HEB, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, okay? But humus is also like loam. It's really good and rich in nutrients, okay? How do I know how much water the soil lets go? I can use a graduated cylinder. Now, here is a graduated cylinder. I can collect how much water the soil releases. How much does it let go? Okay, so it's a graduated cylinder. That means it starts from a low number and it graduates to a high number, kind of like pre-K all the way to 12th grade and you graduate at 12th grade, okay? So if I use a graduated cylinder, I use, 
I use it to measure volume in milliliters. So I'm going to test how much water actually comes out. Okay. If the plant retains that, that means the soil is keeping the water. It's maintaining it. It's keeping it. So I drew a pot here. But if it releases some of the water, I guess it's okay. But if it releases all of the water, that means it's letting it all go out. Okay, so you got to be careful what soil you decide to plant your watermelon seeds in. Okay, I would pick any of these. Okay, loam, potting soil, or humus. That would be really healthy for a watermelon seed to grow. Okay, so here are my vocabulary words for week 3.1. Okay, if I turn the page, I have my lab. Okay, my lab is on properties of soil. That means you're going to take your house soil, one cup of that soil, you're going to uh, record what color is the soil at your house. And what does it feel like? And would I plant some watermelon seeds in that soil? Okay, and I did sand for you as an example. Sand is light brown, it's rough, and mm, some plants can grow in sand, like cactus, okay, but not a lot of them. So once I finish analyzing the soil at my house, I'm going to analyze my whole data table. Well, how does my house soil compare to sand? Okay, so is it better or is it worse? Then I'm going to write a report. What happened in my lab? Did anything fascinating happen? Was there a big difference between house soil and sand soil? Okay, so all those things are included in your lab report. Okay, so this is for lab 3.1. And this is the vocabulary words for 3.1. And we started earth science by talking about the layers of the earth and we're going to start with the surface and studying the surface of the earth so that is 3.1 science notebook update thank you